One of the keys to creating stonefly nymphs and mayfly nymphs that are deadly effective to the fish and also look great is to produce a dubbing that has multiple colors, darks and lights and tans. Most natural insects aren't one solid color. There are a variety of all types of modeling and we can create that by making our own dubbing. Ever see these in a fly shop and wonder what in the world to do with them? This is a rabbit face, otherwise known as a hair's mask. This is a number one hair's mask natu natural. As you can see, I paid $3.99 for this. We're gonna start by turning this into this. All we need is a rabbit face, a pair of shears, a pair of scissors, and a mason jar. The first thing we have to do is we gotta get rid of these whiskers. We do not want them in our dubbing. So I take just a big pair of scissors and we'll cut the whiskers out. I hate picking these out of my finished product on my dubbing. And there's eyelashes too. You ever know that rabbits have eyelashes? They're really long and stiff, so get rid of the eyelashes as well. Get rid of the whiskers on the other side. I don't want these to get mixed with my dubbing, so take these and put them somewhere else. Throw them away, discard them, do something. You don't want them getting mixed with your dubbing. What you want to do is make sure you trim all of these long guard hairs. We want the underbody fur in here, all the down in there. We might want the white, we might want the dark, we might want the black. And that'll depend on which dubbing we're going to make and what you want the end product to be in terms of color. On this one, I want everything. I'm going to mix the whites, the tans, the blacks, the browns, everything. So just start cutting. Now notice we're starting to get a whole bunch of black, dark, light, all these different colors. Don't worry because what we have to do is imagine that all these are blended together and we're going to get that finished product that we want. The neat thing is we can customize this any way we want. If you want it to be on the lighter side, great. If you want it to be on the darker side, great. But I want this blend that I'm going to show you on this one to, to have everything in it. Now when you get to this part on your, on your skin, it looks like you've got it all and a lot of guys want to just stop right here. Don't stop. All this velvety stuff, you can get all that stuff. It's very important. That super soft underbody for it's going to help add an element to your dubbing that makes it much more lifelike. Now that we have our dubbing all on a pile, I'm gonna take a mason jar. You make, me make sure you get a lid on it. We'll just take all those and stuff them in the mason jar. Fill the jar up full of all your stuff, and then you wanna put water in it. No more than about half full. Seal the bottle. Shake the living bejesus out of this thing. Leave the top on and drain the majority of the water out very slowly. Once your water is drained out, reach in and grab your ball of dubbing. Squeeze it tightly and squeeze all the excess water out of it and we're well on our way. Once you've squeezed all the water out of your pile, set it on a piece of paper towel. It'll dry a little bit faster if you open it up and let some air get to it. So I've come back to check my dubbing. Looks like it's all dried. Took us about 24 hours of mostly drying time and only about 20 minutes to prepare a, a hair's mask and we have some amazing dubbing.